Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just looking at this, two counts, knowing, violating, restraining, or protection order granted under Title RCW 26. Yeah. You know, um, I spent quite a bit of time in jail because nobody wanted to admit that I had slept at the Serenity House that uh, evening on December 30th of 2015. Yeah. I was on a bus that morning. Oh, I was on a second bus that morning. Ow. Oh, oh, I stopped by AA and could see if, oh, <laughs> and then I was, uh, oh, oh, I was on another bus, yes, and then I was on bus 22, actually, and went to the Hagen's waiting for the library to open. <laughs> then I was at this very library from 10 to 5 during the whole day, and I have the emails to prove it, yes. And then it was New Year's Eve, so I went to the Goodwill, but it was closed, so I went to the Safeway until 6.30 p.m., yes, mm-hmm. Now, I probably would have got to the Safeway at about 5.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. um, if the crime happened at 4.48 p.m. and it takes a half an hour to drive from Squim, yes. Exactly how did I get to the Safeway? I'm sure there was video camera surveillance footage in the Safeway that night. Mm -hmm. Then I went to the Alcathon Tree Park um, New Year's Eve party for those in AA approach. <laughs> About 6.30, spent an hour there, and then I walked over to the Oxford House dance. Yes. Mm -hmm. Numerous individuals probably remember seeing me there. It was back in um, 2015 that I did that. Yes. yes. And then um, I got a ride to the Serenity House, and I would have been at the Serenity House at 10.45, and there would have been video camera surveillance to prove that, too. Yes. Now, let's say I needed an alibi to prove that I didn't commit domestic violence. How many people end up going to jail for approximately 30 days when they have uh, one video surveillance camera and another video surveillance camera and another video surveillance camera and another video surveillance camera and then they have all the emails that they sent from the Port Angeles Library that day <laughs> and then they have the video surveillance camera from the Safeway until 6.30. <laughs> Then they have all the people that they visited with um, when they were at the New Year's Eve party for AAers there at the tree park. Yes. And then they have all the people that they talked to when they went to the dance on New Year's Eve. How many people have that many alibis to prove their innocence of committing the two-count criminal complaint in Swim, Washington? You know, if you really wanted to calls the jury to think, did he do the crime? Are you sure that the motion to dismiss from the public defender's office really addressed the two-count criminal complaint? Or was it some bullshit where somebody's trying to invalidate a court order where the court just won't remove it? Oh, Jack, you remember? Oh, oh, oh. Well, there was no possible way I was in swim, but somebody just had to prosecute me, didn't you? Yes. Mm -hmm. But you didn't have to arrest me for a crime that happened twice in the same day. <laughs> you decided to wait uh, the first, the second, the third, and the fourth, and the morning of the fourth. You thought, well, we better find the guy, considering he committed domestic violence <laughs> twice in the same day. What's the problem with law enforcement's approach to enforcing the allegations of a crime? What's the problem, Chief of Police? What is your problem with enforcing the laws right now? <laughs>